keeps that camera rolling. We go to Gogolia, but do I film the sights? No, I film you at the hotel, at the conference, in restaurants, in the shower, while you sleep at night, when you wake up in the morning. It's 37 hours of videotape featuring you. But I'm my favorite subject. Oh, <laughs> hello. Dr. Sidney Hieronymus Zidbeck here once more, bidding a fond farewell to Gorgolia. Oh yes, as the sun gently sets on its breathtaking landscape... Hey, you there! Passport and boarding pass, please! How dare you interrupt me! Can't you see that I'm making a very important declaration here? Yeah, and he's got a lot to declare, unfortunately. Only my genius. Is that so? May I see your bag? Hey! What's all this? Footage of my sojourn in Gogolia. Uh, 37 hours of the thoughts of Chairman Zitbag. A must for insomniacs everywhere. Out of my way! I don't care! Carry on filming. I have more pearls of wisdom to impart. Doc, I'm having trouble getting your head to fit the viewfinder. Do as I tell you! And... Action! Farewell, Gogolia, farewell. Parting is such sweet sorrow. But I leave both of us with the knowledge that I have dazzled you with my brilliance and... Pratfall, boss. We could sell the tape to that video bloopers show. Are you calling me an outstake? Hurry up, please. <gasps> We're about to take off. I have seat 13. That's funny. I have seat number one. I thought we'd been put together. Oh, dear. No chance of filming you during the trip, then. <gasps> what a pity. This is seat number two, isn't it? Hello, Agent 00. I am Natasha, your contact. <sighs> Life so peaceful since Zitbag left for Gogolia. <sighs> A little too quiet, actually. Let's face it, a police officer who has no opportunities to tackle evil and crime head-on will soon become rusty. Now, if only I could find page one, then I'd know what this fax is all about. Yes! Yeah! Here it is! <laughs> Attention, Officer Deadbrat. Uh, typing error. <laughs> A dangerous international spy, Agent JB00, is arriving in Transylvania on the next flight from Gogolia. We can't tell you what this spy looks like because he's a master of disguise. Mm. He always has a different look. See accompanying pictures. Unbelievable! This JB00 is brilliant at disguises. Uh, all we know about this spy is that he will be carrying a briefcase full of money. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to identify him and arrest him. Good luck. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. <laughs> at last! The sort of job that might win me promotion! <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you I am not Agent JB00, I am Dr. Sidney Zitbag, mad scientist, second class, who is traveling in first class and who's sitting as planned in seat number one. This mad scientist disguises your best yet. You've excelled yourself, 00. But I'm telling you that enough already. I know very well who you are. Do you have the videotape? Videotape? What videotape? Hmm. I see. You are on your guard. You think I haven't brought the money. money? What money? Let me set your fears at rest. Look. <coughs> Great globular greenbacks. How much is in there? Two million zlotys, as agreed. <coughs> Two mi the videotape. The, 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 
videotape? Oh! <laughs> of course! The videotape! I sure I have! The videotape? Here it is, my dear lady. The videotape! <laughs> Great! You really are the best, double O zero. Two million slotties. <laughs> Have you ever been told that you are a very attractive man, double O zero? Call me Sydney. <laughs> Natasha, darling. Oh, Sydney. <laughs> Sadly, I must leave you, Sydney. I would have loved to spend the rest of my life with you. No matter. See you. Or rather, not see you. Mission accomplished. 00 has handed the tape over to me. Head straight for Gogolia, Captain Stallion. Sisters, born on an evil night. To scare Mrs. and Mrs. we will leave you weak with fright. You think Sidney will like our surprise, Sinister? Of course he will. He's a man of taste. All of it bad. <laughs> Master Well, Frank and Octopus, what do you think of our new decoration? <laughs> Poor Frank and Octopus. His master's absence makes him queasy. Yes, Bimbella. These little pets get so emotional. We've only got the lab left to decorate Bimbella. Yes, and if we want to pick up Sydney at the scareport, we'd better hurry. Rule number one for nabbing a secret agent. Outsmart him. <laughs> In other words, disguise yourself so no one can recognize you and blend with the background like a chameleon. Hey, uh -huh. you there. Come this way. Yeah. Now let's see if my disguise works. Where do you think you're going? Uh, runway maintenance service. Orders of Officer Deadby. Mm, okay. But you don't look like our scare port worker. Uh, yeah, I've been a bit ill recently. Oh, uh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> Carry on. And if you bump into any international spies, let us know. Uh, yeah, thanks, I will. <laughs> my disguise works. Even my finest police officers are fooled. <laughs> You've lost your moustache, sir. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, don't mention it. At your service. Idiots. I'm surrounded by idiots. Still, I'd better try and merge into the scenery and make like a scareport worker. Mission accomplished, boss. You see, you! I told you that our little Natasha would succeed. You owe me one zloty. You were right, Telly. Here's your dough. Thanks, you all. My pleasure, Telly. Out of sheer curiosity, what's on this tape? Shall we show it to her, you? Why not, Telly? She's done a good job. Igor, put, put on, on the, the tape, tape and serve us a drink. drink. Good evening, <gasps> kindly citizens of Gogolia. You are privileged to listen to this lecture by me, Dr. Sidney Zitbag, mad scientist extraordinaire. Uh -huh. Second class. And all round general purpose genius. Listen and learn. Some call me a madman. Some call me a fool. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hello again. You think a genius like me would have servants to perform my ablutions, but no. I take showers just like any normal person. It's not the right tape, Natasha. The tape we were expecting was to provide us with the plans and test results of a new revolutionary prototype engine that runs on yogurt. You have failed, Natasha. Who did you give the two million zlotties to? To that man there on the tape. I thought he was Agent 00. In the scary plane, he was sitting in seat number one as arranged. I want my zloty back, Telly. Why? Natasha has failed. Give me back my zloty and one more for losing the bet. Hey, you're right. Here they are. Oh. <coughs> 
We must absolutely recover our two million tally. You're right, you. We're gonna give you one last chance, Natasha. If you find the money, we'll forgive you. Take all the men and equipment you need. And, and this time, don't mess it up. Don't worry, boss. When I find that zit bag in front of me, I will be merciless. <laughs> Unbelievable! Two million slotties! I've counted it 17 times. And some beautiful stranger just gave it to me! I'm rich! Oh, tremendously rich! We will be landing in a moment. Please fasten your seatbelts. Oh, that was relaxing. And no need to video Dr. Big Head either. A word about this to anybody, Sydney. <laughs> They'll all want a piece for themselves. Refido, the exorcisters. Why not keep the two million for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 maybe I should have chosen another disguise. Being a worker is exhausting. Well, at least I've gone unrecognized. Stop! Stop! It's a disaster! He, he's digging up the runway! Some madman's wrecking my runway! Hang on! Who are you? I'm the scareport manager! He's dug up the runway! It's a catastrophe! The scary plane from Gogolia is due to land any minute now! Listen, mate! That worker is acting under the orders of our boss, Officer Deadbeat! What? A police officer orders my runway to be dug up? It's madness! Uh... Could be, yeah. Oh no! Here comes the scary plane! Oh. Just in time! Yoo-hoo, Sydney! We're here! <laughs> I'm gonna catch that secret agent the moment he gets off the scary plane! I made a mistake. Unbelievable! A fight was stolen. It's my disguise, you idiots! It's me, your chief! Officer Deadbeat! Yeah. The spy we're looking for is a master of disguise. Exactly! But he's hardly gonna be disguised as me now, is he? Let me go! Are you all right, Sidney? I've had better landings. Are you all right, Sidney? Sure. Nobody ever says, are you all right, horrified, though? Poor Sidney. Give me your briefcase. I'll carry it. Don't touch this briefcase, woman! Oh. Huh? Absolutely nobody touches this briefcase! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Still reacting to the shock of the landing. <laughs> uh, this uh, briefcase was my grandmother's. <laughs> I'm very attached to it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Briefcase? Oh, that's odd. He didn't have it when we got on the scary plane. What was that message from the headquarters all about again? Dad, yeah, that's it. I remember the message was about a briefcase. A briefcase full of money. He's the spy. It's Zitbag. He's Agent 00. Go arrest him immediately. It's an order. We have a little surprise for you, Sidney. You'll love it. Oh, is that so good? I love surprises. <laughs> You're awfully tense, boss. What's in that briefcase? <gasps> Nothing! Nothing at all! <laughs> surprise! Oh, great galloping globules. Not your color dog? <laughs> oh! Frank and Octopus! What's happened to him? Oh. Oh. The briefcase, Sydney. Natasha. I knew that briefcase would be trouble. What's in it? Nothing! Two million zlotties. Two million zlotties? <laughs> no wonder you were so touchy. 
The briefcase, Sidney, or I will be merciless. Ha! Never! This money is mine! <laughs> you gave it to me! Give her back the briefcase, Doc. I sense there could be trouble otherwise. Police! Nobody move! <laughs> Are safe. Great glutinous green globules, that's disgusting. Quick, so safe. Saved. of my Zitmobile! Aha! They won't ever find me in the mountains. Sydney. What? The briefcase, Sydney. Either give it to me now, or I'll take it from you by force. I'm an eight dan in karaoke, and I'm ruthless. <laughs> oh, listen, couldn't we make a little compromise? Hmm? Half and half? Give me the briefcase, Sydney. And I thought that you found me attractive, and that you wanted to spend your life with me. No, 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 don't do that. No, Sidney, no, 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 this is too much. Stop it. Aha! Oh, 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 Sidney. Oh, Sidney, you're, oh, you're killing me. Oh, make me your wife. You let me eat Chucky Bickies in bed? Yes. You let me watch football on the telly? Yes. You'll allow me Saturday nights at Old Mother Gargoyles? Yes. You let me go with the two billion slotties? Yes. I love you. <laughs> How reassuring to know no woman can resist me. <laughs> I'm a Casanova. No. The trouble one has to go through for, for two million slotties. <laughs> I've won! I'm rich! I'm rich! Rich beyond my wildest dreams! <laughs> My money! Oh! Oh! Poor! I'm poor again! Everything is as you wish, O oh Master. Have you polished my TV remote control? <gasps> no, Master, I forgot. Forgive me! Should I do the buttons too? Don't bother. I don't want my fingers to slide off. No need to knock. <laughs> <laughs>
Come in! Yoo-hoo! Sesame! It's, it's us! us. Oh. You know these two bimbos? Yes, they're my fia... Oh. Eh, my neighbors, Bimbella and Sinista. Bye. Uh-huh.